Director Comey, uh, I want to begin by attempting to put to rest several <coughs> claims made by the President about his predecessor, namely that President Obama wiretapped his phones. So that we can be precise, I want to refer you to exactly what the President said and ask you whether there is any truth to it. First, the President claimed, quote, terrible, just found out that Obama had my wires tapped in Trump Tower just before the victory. Nothing found. This is McCarthyism, unquote. Director Comey, was the President's statement that Obama had his wires tapped in Trump Tower a true statement? With respect to the President's tweets about alleged wiretapping directed at him by the prior administration, I have no information that supports those tweets, and we have looked carefully inside the FBI. The Department of Justice has asked me to share with you that the answer is the same for the Department of Justice and all its components. The Department has no information that supports those tweets. The President accused Mr. Obama and presumably the FBI of engaging in McCarthyism. As you understand the term McCarthyism, do you think President Obama or the FBI was engaged in such conduct? I'm not going to try and characterize the, the tweets themselves. All I can tell you is we have no information that supports them. Were you engaged in McCarthyism, Director Comey? Try very hard not to engage in any isms of any kind, including, <laughs> including McCarthyism. The President uh, second stated, quote, is it legal for a sitting president to be wiretapping a race for president prior to an election, turned down by a court earlier a new low, unquote. Director Comey, can you answer the president's question, would it be legal for President Obama to have ordered a wiretap of Donald Trump? I'm not going to characterize or respond to the tweets themselves. I can tell you in general, as, as uh, Admiral Rodgers and I were just saying, there is a statutory framework in the United States under which courts grant permission for electronic surveillance, either in a criminal case or a national security case, based on a showing of probable cause, carefully overseen. It's a rigorous, rigorous process that involves all three branches of government, and it's one we've lived with since the late 1970s. That's how it works. So, so no individual in the United States can direct electronic surveillance of anyone. It has to go through an application process, ask a judge. The judge can then make the order. So President Obama could not unilaterally order a wiretap of anyone? No president could.